Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick demo of how you make a graph using Visual Python. I, uh, I'd like to start with just the simplest possible thing you can do, and so I'm going to just make a sphere object here. Let's see, let's make a sphere object. We'll start it out at uh, the left side of the screen, and we'll give it a nice color. Okay. Then I'm going to have time start at zero, we'll have dt be a tenth of a second, um, and we're just going to make the thing move from the left to the right uh, with a speed of, uh, I don't know, one meter a second. So I'm just going to say while t is less than, uh, what do I need, 20 seconds, I guess, I'm going to say sphere.pause.x equals... Um, T maybe at one meter a second it well okay we'll just do this 1.0 meters a second times the time okay constant speed we'll increment the time and then I need a rate 30 30 frames a second say and then um, what else do I have to do here I need to uh, I want to make a plot. Well, let's, for, let's just run this first and make sure this works. Okay, I didn't do something right. Sphere.pause.x equals... Hmm. Oh, s.pause.x, duh. There we go. <coughs> okay, so that appears to be working. Then... Uh, Actually, let's make it start at negative 10, so it doesn't jump to the middle suddenly. There we go. Okay, fantastic. So now the idea is, let's, uh, let's make a graph. So the easiest way to make a graph is I define an object. Um, doesn't matter what you call it, the thing. It's a, actually a graphing object. It's a G-curve object. I'm going to give it a color, let's say blue. And then all you have to do is in the loop, just say the thing, whatever it's called, uh, plot. And then we're going to input, as an argument to the plot, we're going to put in a tuple, which is going to have two numbers, an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. And what I mean by x-coordinate and y-coordinate, I mean graphing coordinates, so the horizontal and the vertical coordinate of a point on a graph. And if I do that, I'm going to get an additional window here, which you can see is a plot. And it plots dynamically in real time, and it's graphing, you know, how the thing's going. So that's the easiest way to do it. You make a G-curve object, and then you call the G-curve object's plot method, and you pass in a tuple with an X and a Y coordinate for the point to plot. Now you can uh, dress that guy up with titles and uh, axis labels and limits and things like that if you wish to. Um, as an example, I'll, I'll uh, show you how that might work. Of course, you can go to the Glowscript uh, website and see, <coughs> see the documentation on this, guys. But, uh, but that's kind of the way it works. That's the easiest way to do it. All right. 